I made a metal detector circuit on a breadboard. I'm going to use a 9 volt battery for the metal. It goes in here. There's the LED. The LED is supposed to light up. It's close enough. Okay, so what I have here is an oscillation circuit. It uses um, this coil right here. That changes it. Like if you move it around, see? So you could regulate it to get exactly where it's at. It needs to be a transistor that just oscillates it. It only takes one to oscillate. Capacitor. It's resistors in the base. I use these resistors for in series, which is <clears throat> approximately around 800 ohms total. They divide the heat, so I just do it that way. And what I was doing an oscillation right now, there's a receiving coil. This one goes through this capacitor. It amplifies it. Here's the um, it's a 358 right here. 358 has two operational amplifiers inside of it. This one right here, the one further down, I used to amplify it. What it does, it amplifies the signal from the receiving coil to amplify it to the output charges the capacitor make it more smooth and then it turns on that transistor transistor amp uh, goes to the amplifier more you could use this as a differential circuit but um, it takes one last switch goes from the output to last the LED and then um, to get this just right you know you gotta see it turns on it's because it's wobbly and you get it just perfect. I will take a piece of metal, like the battery, and light it up. See, it never touches. So, what it does is it feeds from this coil to this coil, the communicating, because the frequency is going through this now. And um, not terribly complex, but it's, it takes quite a bit to make it working good. And I, um, <clears throat> I hope you liked my video. And um, please like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to fill them below. And um, thanks for watching.